After the end of the Tournament of Power and the battle against Brawly, who ended up being friends, Goku was working in the fields as his wife Chi Chi said he needed money for things and the studies of his youngest son Goten. Already finishing the crops, Goku begins to fly arriving at his house where Chi Chi was cooking and Goten doing a task. Hi Chi Chi, I'm done with the crops, said Goku very happy. Good, the food will be ready in 5 minutes. You can wait at the table so you can join Goten, said Milk, who was finishing preparing the food. Okay, Milk, Goku smiled as he sat next to his son Goten. The food was ready and the three began to eat. After some delicious dishes prepared by Milk, Goku decides to go to the capsule corporation so that Bulma can call Whis and train him. Meanwhile, in the palace of the kings of everything, the Sinosama of the present and the Sinosama of the future, we're having an interesting conversation. It was about making Goku the new king of everything, since he had surpassed the gods and could manage to perfect their technique of Ultra Instinct and that made them think very well about making him the most powerful king of the universe. I agree that our best friend Goku should be the new king of everything, said Sinosama of the present very happy. Me too, I like Goku very much. If he is with us, we will play a lot with him, smiled Sinosama of the future. You're right, we have to tell Daishinkan, he stood up from the present Sinosama's throne while smiling. The Sinosama called Daishinkan. Daishinkan bowed in respect and asked the Sinosama what they needed. Daishinkan, we want you to communicate with Universe 7. Tell Wiz to bring Son Goku with him. We have something to tell him, explained the Sinosama of the future to Daishinkan. Daishinkan gives a bow and then said, As you order, my lord. Daishinkan communicates with his son Wiz about the notice of Sinosama, thus ending the communication and Wiz goes to the earth to look for Goku, and then go to the palace of the kings of all. Ah? What do the Sinosama need me for? Surely, it's something very important, or maybe there will be another tournament, Goku thought very excitedly. When they arrived at their destination, Daishinkan welcomes them and guides them to where the Sinosama was. When the Sinosama saw Goku, they hugged him, and Goku hugged them back, and then asked, Hello Sinosama, what do you need me for? Goku, we were talking and we agreed to make you the new king of everything. This was said very happily by the present Sinosama. Everyone was surprised by the words of the present Sinosama, but the one who was more surprised was Goku. I will be the new king of everything? shouted Goku, very surprised. Goku was surprised by the words of his two friends. Were they really saying that? Do they want me to be a king of everything or do they want me to spend more time with them? These questions were on the Saiyan's mind, but he decides to get out of his thoughts and then talk to the Sinosama. Your decision surprised me, but why do you want me to be the new king of everything? Goku said, looking at both Sinosamas. Well, Goku, after the Tournament of Power, we saw that you were very strong. You're even the first mortal to achieve the egoistic doctrine, something the gods never achieved, smiled the Sinosama of the future to say these words. You would also be a good king in the future, said also the Sinosama of the present. Wow, I don't know what to say, smiled Goku very nervous. You will be trained by Daishinkan. You will learn new techniques and you will have the respect of everyone. Sinosama was trying to convince Goku with those words. And you will also get to know better all the universes and their most powerful warriors, also said the Sinosama of the future. Goku would be thinking for a moment if he would be the king of everything he could change the levels of mortality so that they would not be erased and so that they would protect their loved ones from every threat. After thinking for a few moments, Goku smiled and said, Good, I accept to be the new king of everything to make a better future. Everyone is surprised by Goku's decision, but the Sinosama were very happy that Goku accepted. Very well, your training with Daishinkan starts tomorrow. You can go back to your universe, said the Sinosama very happy. Goku and the Sinosama said goodbye with a hug and returned to Universe 7, where all their friends were gathered in the Capsule Corporation, celebrating the birthday of Bra, Vegeta's daughter. Goku appears out of nowhere and greets them. Hello everyone, I'm glad you're all here. I have an announcement to make. And what is it, father? Gohan asked this surprised. Well, I was with the Sinosama and I'll be the new king of everything, Goku said quite happy. Everyone was surprised by Goku's words but the one who was more surprised was Vegeta, and at the same time, upset because Goku surpassed him more and will be the new king of the entire multiverse. Maybe I can make some changes and put the other universes to improve their mortality, Goku explained to his friends. Vegeta, quite angry, shouts, Kakarot, you'll be stronger than me. 
Now, Vegeta, don't be mad at me. I promise I will come to visit you and maybe spend time with you, especially with my family. Goku tried to calm Vegeta and his family with these words. Goku decided to spend the day with his family going out to the amusement park while they ate, laughed, and shared good and old times they had. Goku, after spending time with his family, decided to rest because tomorrow he had an important training with the great priest of all Daishinkan. Goku, thinking and quite happy, I will be a good and better king of everything. I will do my best. At the Sina Palace, Goku was ready for his important training with Daishinkan. Goku, with the suit just like Daishinkan, rushes at a speed throwing punches and kicks, but Daishinkan dodges them very easily. Goku would keep attacking Daishinkan without stopping. Daishinkan, with a punch, sends Goku far away, but Goku comes back, and this one, with a smile, says to Daishinkan, You are very strong, Mr. Daishinkan. Why don't you transform, Mr. Goku? Daishinkan asked Goku in confusion. I want to increase my power in base state, said Goku a little hurt. Daishinkan gives a slight smile. Very well, we continue with the training, Mr. Goku. Yes, get ready, I'll go all out. Those were the words of Goku to let go, go to Daishinkan to try to latinate a blow. So 30 minutes passed and Goku increased his power to 100% in its base state. Goku then transforms into Super Blue Saiyan, exchanging punches and kicks with Daishinkan. Every time Goku concentrated on the movements, he attacked faster and felt his power increase more. Goku continued with the transformation of the Blue Saiyan for 35 minutes and had it 100% controlled with the Kaioken, as it would not be a waste of energy. Goku became stronger and stronger. Let's take a short break, Mr. Goku, Daishinkan said a little exhausted. Goku, smiling, said, Good, Mr. Daishinkan. The 10 minutes of rest passed, and from there, they continued with the training. Goku learned new techniques. He could even travel through the universes easily. Goku thunders his knuckles. I feel a great power inside me. I think you are ready, Goku-sama. Those were Daishinkan's words with a big smile. Goku-sama? said Goku, quite surprised. That's right. That's the nickname of respect for you. Daishinkan explained to Goku with a big smile. Well, it's not necessary, but it's okay, Goku replied. Goku thinking, it's time to do a good job as the new king of everything. In every universe, all the gods with their angels, guardians, and Kaioshin were preparing for the meeting in the palace of the kings of everything. All the warriors who participated in the tournament of power will also accompany the gods in this important meeting. In the palace of the kings of all, Goku was in his new suit of the king of all, being ready for his presentation. This power I have is incredible, and the interesting thing is that I have the ultra instinct in base state without any problem, Goku said happily, Goku-sama. Daishiken called as a sign of respect, calling the attention of the Saiyan God. Surprised Goku. What's wrong, Mr. Daishinkan? All the gods and angels, including the warriors who participated in the Tournament of Power, are already gathered here, Daishinkan said to Goku. Goku smiling. Very well. Thank you for letting me know, Mr. Daishinkan. You are welcome, Goku-sama. Those were Daishinkan's words, and then he left the place. While with the gods, angels, and Kaioshins, and warriors, we're waiting for the notice of the High Priest and the Kings of All. Daishinkan, together with the Sinosama of the present and the Sinosama of the future, stood in front of everyone, making the gods, with their warriors, kneel in respect. Gods, angels, and warriors, we welcome you to this important meeting, Daishinkan said. Sino of the future, looking at everything. As you know, this meeting is about an introduction of the new King of Everything. Everyone is surprised by the words of Daishinkan and Sinosama of the future. Sinosama of the present pointed to Goku. I present to you the new king of everything, Son Goku. Goku, with his new form and new costume, appears and is seen before all those present who were surprised that Son Goku, the warrior who was the cause of the tournament, is the king of everything. That old man is the king of everything now? I can't believe it, Khalifa shouted in surprise. This is impossible, said Champa, very nervous. Wiz, did you know about this? Bills looked at Wiz, very surprised. Wiz answers, yes, sir. Sensei-sama decided to make Mr. Goku the new king of everything. All the Kaioshins are surprised by the words of the angel of Universe 7. Bills, very nervous. 
You surprised me today, Son Goku. Son Goku looks very strong, even I don't feel his key, Kale said, trying to see Goku's key. Mr. Goku as the new king of everything? I'm surprised by his new appearance. Kiabe looked at Goku from his hacient. Goku increases his key by having silver hair, having the Ultra Instinct mastered surprising everyone even more. That heat is tremendous. I even feel my whole body trembling, Khalifa trembled as she felt the pressure of Goku's power. Goku raises his hand and greets everyone with a smile. Hello gods, angels, kaioshins, and warriors. I promise to be a good king of everything, and I hope you all keep doing your jobs well. That's all for today. You may not retire. These were the words of Daishinkan, ending the meeting. Everyone returns to their respective universes, surprised by what happened today. Son Goku, the warrior of the universe 7, is the new king of everything. After the meeting, Goku is now the new king of everything and decides to visit the universe 11 to see Jiren again. While in universe 11, Jiren and Topo were training with Margarita to be stronger. Very good, keep it up, and you will increase your powers even more, Margarita said while dodging their attacks. But suddenly, a light interrupts them and the figure of someone familiar appears in front of Jiren and Topo, and it was none other than Goku. Goku greets them. Hello, it's nice to see you again, Jiren and Topo. Goku-sama, said Topo while kneeling as a form of respect, confusing Goku a little. Goku tries to calm Topo down. Calm down, Topo, it's not necessary to do that. Son Goku, Jiren said to him as a sign of respect. Goku-sama, it's a pleasure to see you here. What brings you to Universe 11? Margarita asked Goku as a sign of respect. I just wanted to come visit you and see Jiren again. And I see that you're training, and that is very good. I hope that the other warriors will also increase their powers. Goku commented as he looked at those present. We will do it, Goku-sama, Topo said, looking at Goku. Son Goku trained since the end of the Tournament of Power to face you again. But I think I cannot, Jiren said to Goku. Don't worry, Jiren. Someday, you'll be very strong and always protect your loved ones in your home. Never give up. Always fight for the peace of all. Goku tried to encourage Jiren with a big smile. Jiren, with a big smile, shakes hands with Goku, and after five minutes, Goku had to return to the palace saying goodbye to Margarita, Jiren, and Topo. Daishinken, seeing Goku, asks him, Where was Goku-san? Goku, smiling a little nervously, I'm sorry for not warning you, I just wanted to visit Universe 11 for a while, it won't happen again. Don't worry, it's not a problem, Daishinkan answered. Hey Daishinkan, Goku was talking to Daishinkan. Yes Goku-sama, what do you need? Daishinkan asked a bit worried. I was thinking of making a tournament between Universes 6, 7 and 11, but not that the losing universes would be eliminated. Goku commented his idea to Daishinkan. Daishinkan gives a slight smile. It wouldn't be a bad idea. Besides, the Sinosama would like that. Good. Tomorrow, tell the three destroyer gods of those universes about that tournament. Goku sent in a kind way to Daishinkan. Daishinkan gives a bow. As you say, Goku-sama. Goku then joins the Sinosama and they start to play while laughing and excited to know that there will be another tournament, but no universe will be eliminated. Being the king of everything is so much fun. I'm going to keep the peace in the multiverse even if it costs me my life. Goku thought happily without knowing the danger that was approaching for the multiverse in the future. In Universe 7, the God of Destruction, Bills, was watching Vegeta's training with Wiz, but they were interrupted by the arrival of the High Priest. Bills and Vegeta kneel down as a sign of respect, and Wiz calmly asks, Wiz, looking at his father, Hello father, what brings you to Universe 7? I come to warn you about another tournament, Daishin Kan said looking at everyone. What? Another tournament? shouted Bills quite surprised. And we will be eliminated if we lose? Vegeta asked nervously. No, it's just that the king of all, Goku, wants to see how strong you've become. Daishinkan answered his doubts. Bills, sighing with relief. Phew, what a relief. I almost fainted. We'll be ready for that tournament. Good luck. Daishinkan said and then left Universe 7 and went to Universe 6, where Champa was eating and was training the three Saiyans. Daishinkan appears, scaring Champa, who in a quick movement kneels down in front of him. Champa, it's pleasure to have you in my universe. Daishinkan-sama, what do you want? Asks nervously, the god destroyer of the universe 6. 
I come to warn you about another tournament, but do not worry, no universe will be eliminated. Daishin Ken returned to answer all your questions. What a relief, sighed the Saiyan of Universe 6. And why do you want to open another tournament, Mr. Daishin Ken? Kale asked very nervously. The king of everything, Goku Sama wants to see how strong you become in all this time. Daishin Ken looked at Kale. Khalifa's eyes would sparkle when he heard that, at last, that he will show Goku how strong he's become. We'll be ready for that tournament, Khalifa said very excited. All is said and done. Good luck to you. After those words, Daishin Ken moves away from Universe 6 and would make his appearance in Universe 11, making Vermouth kneel down as well as Topo and Jiren. Hello, father. What brings you to Universe 11? Margarita asked calmly. I come to warn you about a tournament and you'll not be eliminated if the universe loses. The king of all Goku, Sama, wants to see how strong you become. Daishin Ken would explain to everyone. Topo, excited. We'll do it, Daishin Ken Sama. So Daishin Ken would return to the palace after warning Universe 6, 7, and 11 to be ready for the tournament. Goku, sitting on his throne, together with the two Sama breasts, were waiting for Universe 6, 7, and 11 for the tournament to start. As the minutes passed, the three destroyer gods with their warriors arrived at the palace kneeling in front of Goku and the Sama Sinans. Hello gods destroyers of the universe 6, 7, and 11. As you know, I decided to make a tournament among you to see how strong your warriors have become, said Goku with a defiant look for all. With a confident smile, approaches Goku and says in a proud way, Kakarot, today I will show you how strong I've become. Hey, have more respect for Goku Sama, Bill shouted at Vegeta. Relax, Mr. Bills, nothing is wrong, and I hope you continue to do your job as the God of Destruction. Goku said while looking at Bills with a defiant smile, Eh, uh, yes, Goku-sama, Bills said very nervously. I hope we see a good fight. Those were the words of both Zeno-samas. Very well, then the rules are the same as those of the Tournament of Power and also allow the merger, and if you eliminate a warrior of the universe, will return to where their gods are destroyers. Goku explained to all the participants. From Universe 6 will participate Khalifla, Kale, Kiabe, and Hit. From Universe 7 will participate Vegeta, Gohan, Number 17, and Picoro. And from Universe 11 will participate Jiren, Topo, and Dispo. These are the Guerreros of the three universes that will participate today. I hope they are ready to fight. Remember that it is only to see how much they have increased their power, Daishiken shouted while smiling. Let the universe between Universe 6, 7, and 11 begin. The tournament began after Goku's words. Universe 6 were the first to attack, while Vegeta and Jiren couldn't stop looking at each other. Vegeta, who was confident that today he would take his revenge for the humiliation of that tournament that was eliminated, and Jiren just stayed quiet and without giving any blow, while Khalifa and Kale were fighting against Gohan and Piccolo, where the four were evenly matched. There was no advantage until Khalifa decided to increase his power and transform into Super Saiyan 2. Khalifa, get ready because I will go very seriously. This will be a perfect opportunity to show Goku how strong I can be. Khalifa said very excited. We will both be strong, sister. Together we can surprise Goku-sama. Kale looked at Khalifa. Kale now had respect for Goku and had decided to leave his hatred towards him behind since he could see that Goku is not a bad person and now he's a very important and powerful god. Come on, Mr. Piccolo, let's show him the fruits of our training. Gohan, after saying that, also transforms into Super Saiyan 2. Piccolo, very proud. That's right, Gohan. A war cry is heard between the four while Kyabi was fighting against 17, where 17 had some advantage in the fight, but Kyabi would not stay behind and began to increase the speed of his blows, giving a little trouble to 17. This gets a little interesting, but I would like to see the fight of Vegeta and Topo, but it can wait, said Goku, watching Kyabi in 17. Who will win? We won't know until the tournament is over, said both Zeno Samas, very excited. Should I enter the tournament? It wouldn't be a bad idea to show some of my power, but maybe not, or maybe yes, Goku was saying in his mind while admiring all the fights. Vegeta transforms himself into Super Saiyan God Blue Evolution at 20%, and he attacks Jiren, and Jiren, without thinking about it, would do the same, so both would start exchanging blows while Topo and Dispo were just waiting for the moment to win. This tournament is getting more and more interesting, and I'm fascinated by the Blue Super Saiyan Evolution of Vegeta, Goku whispered. Hey, Senchan, wouldn't you like to see me participate a little in this tournament to show some of my power? Goku whispered to the Xenos. That would be awesome, Goku. Zeno. Yes, yes, very awesome. Both Xeno-samas whispered back to Goku. 
Goku calls Daishinkan to whisper in his hatred, telling him that in a moment he'll participate a little in this tournament, and Daishinkan with a slight smile says, Okay, Mr. Goku, I'll just wait for the time to come to enter with some action. Surely everyone will want to fight against me, but I have to obey the rules. Goku sighed while thinking that. Vegeta shouts, Come on, Jiren, let's take this to the next level. Transforming into Super Saiyan Blue Evolution to totality, Mm, I'd better bring out some more of my power. Jiren whispered something excited. Jiren increases his power to 15%, exciting Goku. Vegeta is the first to attack, exchanging blows with Jiren, while Jiren seriously concentrates on Vegeta's blows. I'm gonna win this tournament and show Kakarot that I'm the strongest. Vegeta shouted while hitting Jiren. Haven't they told you that you have to have respect for your superiors? Goku is now the king of everything, Jiren explained to Vegeta. Vegeta angrily yells at him. I don't care about that. What I care about is surpassing you. You talk so much. Jiren with a punch in the stomach makes Vegeta spit some blood to be crashed by a blast of Jiren's ki. Gohan worried. Vegeta! Wow! Jiren became very strong, said both Xenosamas while looking at Jiren. Jiren, I'm getting excited about your power. Goku was starting to get excited. Vegeta angrily comes out of the rubble to then see Jiren with a very serious look on his face. Bug, you'll pay for that. Vegeta angrily launches another attack on Jiren and starts throwing punches at Vegeta. He dodges them by kicking Jiren. Hmm. Jiren wipes some blood on his mouth. Vegeta launches a Bim Bam attack, hitting Jiren where he was just standing still without any scratches but with his clothes somewhat damaged. Let's continue with our fight, Jiren, Vegeta said very angry. Jiren sighs. Then come and attack me with all your strength. Jiren and Vegeta continued with the fight while Gohan and the other warriors fought to win the tournament. Gohan and Khalifla had a very even fight. Punches and kicks were coming and going from all sides and no one was going to stop fighting. Let's make this fight more interesting. Khalifla gets into a fighting pose. As you say, Gohan replies to Khalifla. Gohan and Khalifla transform into Super Saiyan 2 again and then they both get into fighting pose. I'm getting more and more excited, said Goku, smiling. Yes, yes, they are both very powerful, both Sinasama smiled. Come on, Khalifla, defeat him, Champa cheered for Khalifla. That goes for you too, Gohan. Defeat her and show your father how strong you are, Bills also cheered for Gohan. Yes, sir, Bills, Gohan replied to Bills. Khalifla is the first to attack Gohan, and Gohan blocks Khalifla's blow with his arm. Gohan tries to give a blow to Khalifla, but Khalifla stops him with his leg. Then both began to exchange blows and kicks and threw bursts of ki to each other. Gohan decides to increase the speed of his punches, giving Khalifla problems, but Khalifla does not lag behind and would do the same as Gohan. Khalifla now with the speed of his punches had the same advantage as Gohan. If he continued like this, maybe he would defeat him and surprise Goku. Gohan had the same idea, surprise his father and show him how strong he can be. Both now increased their strength and were evenly matched in power while Kale and Piccolo were having their fight where they were making the platform shake with their punches and kicks. I will defeat you, Kale shouted. We'll see about that. Piccolo smiled, looking at Kale who was confident of her power. Goku was entertained watching the fight together with the Xenosamas and now they were about to see Piccolo's fight against Kale. Kale was transformed in her controlled legendary phase and Piccolo with her 20% power. Kale had the advantage in the fight, being sure that she could win, but Piccolo was not far behind. She had some tricks up her sleeve. I'm doing it. I'm winning the fight. Kale hit Piccolo with powerful blows while saying this. Don't be too confident. Piccolo throws a blast of ki, making smoke confusing Kale. But what is this? Kale was looking around confused. Piccolo takes the opportunity to give her a swift move kicking Kale, making her move away from him. I told you not to be confident, girl. That kick was just luck, but I won't give up, said Kale, spitting some blood from his mouth. Then let's continue, Piccolo answered quite confidently. Kale and Piccolo went on the attack, where they exchanged punches and kicks, making the shockwaves very strong. Piccolo's fight against Kale is very exciting, Goku said with a big smile. These fights are getting better and better. They are showing how much they have improved. The Xenosamas were very excited. I wonder who will win. Will it be Piccolo or will it be Kale? thought Goku, very happy to see how much everyone has improved. I already want to fight against everyone, especially against Jiren and Vegeta. I will show them that I have also become very strong and that I am worthy of being the king of everything. Those were the words of the Saiyan who is very excited with a big smile on his face. What will happen? Will Goku participate in the tournament? 
Vegeta will be able to overcome Jiren and Goku? What fate awaits Goku as the new king of everything? All this and more we will see in the next part of this amazing theory. While Piccolo and Kale were in their endless fight, the fight was even as it was between a Namekin and a legendary Saiyan. Piccolo was reading his rival's movements to find his weak point. Piccolo manages to hit Kale in the stomach, making Kale spit some blood. Damn, this guy is really good. Kale was complaining of pain from the blow Piccolo gave him. It looks like your confidence is gone. No, I'm not giving up yet. I will be much stronger to make my sister proud. Kale increases his power and with great speed attacks Piccolo, who now has trouble to dodge Kale's blows. Kale hits him in the face, making him fly away, then he grabs Piccolo's foot while punching him in all directions. Then he makes Piccolo spin and releases him, making Piccolo crash. You don't fight badly at all, Piccolo said, emerging from the rubble. You're not a bad fighter either, Kale replied, wiping some blood from his mouth. Good, it's time I get into the fight. I really need to fight for a while after seeing all this. Those were Goku's thoughts as he watched all those incredible fights. You'll see that I'll defeat you, clown. Vegeta was still fighting in his Super Saiyan God form Phase 2 evolution against Jiren. Jiren just kept quiet. He really wasn't interested in fighting Vegeta. He wanted to fight Goku. Warriors of Universe 6, 7, and 11 can stop fighting for a moment. Everyone listens to Daishinken and stops fighting to look at him. The kings of everything are very excited about their bouts, and the king of everything, Goku-sama, would like to join the fight for a while. Everyone was surprised by what Daishinken said. As you heard, I was so excited that I wanted to fight one of you. Goku gets up from his throne to go down to the platform. Jiren would not miss the opportunity and heads towards Goku to fight him. Goku-sama, I want to have a fight with you. Those were the words of Jiren, who was very excited to fight Goku. Hey Jiren, your fight is still with me! What? I want to fight against Goku? I am his son, I should have a fight against him. No, I also want to fight Goku-sama. Uh, don't forget about me, I want to test Goku's power. This, this is, is going, going to be complicated. complicated! Please, calm down. None of them paid any attention, but they were interrupted by Goku's key surge causing their bodies to tremble. Well? The first one to fight me will be, well, I think my first fight will be against Khalifla. Yes! Now is the perfect time to have my revenge. Khalifla said, very excited. That brat is not going to be able to fight Kakarot. She is going to suffer humiliation. Sister, are you sure you want to fight him alone? Yeah, don't worry, Kale. I'll be fine, said Khalifla while preparing to fight. Okay, good luck, Khalifla. Those were Kale's words of encouragement to his sister. Thank you, Kale. Khalifla gets into a fighting pose, ready to attack. Goku would only stare at Khalifla, being calm, without making any move. Khalifla transforms into Super Saiyan Phase 3 and launches herself to give him a blow, being stopped by Goku, who did not take his eyes off her. But what? Khalifla couldn't finish the word because she felt a blow to her stomach, making her spit blood, pulling away from Goku because of the pain. Damn, that hit hurt me. Khalifla said in pain, Goku disappears and appears from the side right in front of Khalifla, surprising her. Khalifla wasted no time and started attacking Goku, throwing punches and kicks, but Goku just dodged her attacks without any problem. Damn, I can't even hit him! Those were the thoughts of Khalifla, who was very nervous. Khalifla launches a key attack, hitting Goku, but he stops it with his hand, making the key attack disappear. Everyone is surprised, especially Khalifla, as she saw how Goku disappeared this attack without any problem. Khalifla falls to her knees, wondering if she was one of the weaker Saiyans. She has no chance of fighting Goku anymore. She felt embarrassed, but she was grabbed by the chin by Goku. Never give up in a fight. I know you can overcome your limits. Something in me tells me that you will become very strong, Khalifla. Goku said all those words to motivate Khalifla and smiled for her. Do you really believe that, Goku-sama? Khalifla said in a slightly happier tone, looking at Goku with a blush. Yes, I know that someday you will become stronger and protect all your loved ones. Khalifla, somewhat blushed, thanked Goku. Then Goku gave her a little kiss on the cheek. Goodbye, Khalifla. Goku heads off to fight the next warrior. Goodbye, Goku. I want to see you again, Khalifla said with a blush. Well, 
Who will I fight now? Goku wondered, looking at the other warriors. Fight me, Kakarot! Vegeta shouted proudly. Bills gets angry from the stands and scolds Vegeta. It's Goku-sama for all of us. Okay! Goku throws himself at an incredible speed that no one could see, throwing a blow at Vegeta that he was able to block with difficulty and was surprised by Goku's speed. Your speed is incredible! Vegeta was very surprised. Goku and Vegeta started exchanging punches and kicks, but Goku had the advantage because his punches were very fast and some of them hit Vegeta. Is that all you have? Goku said mockingly to Vegeta. Don't you dare underestimate me, Kakarot! Vegeta shouted very angry. Goku transforms into Super Saiyan God Phase 2, surprising everyone, as it felt a very strong atmosphere. Even Vegeta was surprised. But Vegeta was not going to be left behind and transformed into Super Saiyan Phase 2 evolution. Now this is a way more interesting fight! Those were Vegeta's arrogant words. I agree with you, Goku said calmly. Vegeta launches key blasts at Goku, hitting him and causing a lot of smoke to appear, and then revealing a Goku without a scratch. Vegeta, after seeing that Goku didn't have a single scratch, lunged to attack Goku while he was calm. Goku stopped Vegeta's blow with a single finger. What? He stopped my punch with just one finger! Vegeta tried to walk away with him, but Goku punched him in the stomach, causing Vegeta to step away in pain. Goku approaches Vegeta, but Vegeta would try to punch him in the face. Goku grabbed him by his arms, avoiding the blow. I can't believe it! I'm the Prince of the Saiyan, and I'm being defeated by a low-class Saiyan who became king of everything? Vegeta shouted very angry and was discouraged to see that Goku surpassed him in all aspects. Vegeta, just because I'm the king of everything doesn't mean that you're going to surrender. Remember, you are the strongest of Universe 7, and I want you to promise me that you will protect your loved ones from any threat, that you will train and always be a good warrior. Goku looked at Vegeta, and Vegeta said with a big smile, Kakarot, I... I... promise! Vegeta was responding to Goku by giving a slight proud smile as he saw how strong his friend Goku had become. Goodbye, Vegeta. Goku returns to his base state, saying goodbye to Vegeta. Then Goku moves away from Vegeta to fight the next warrior. Goku will now fight against his son while the others were still fighting even though Vegeta was resting and Khalifla kept thinking about the kiss and the words Goku said to her. You ready for your fight, Gohan? Goku was stretching to be able to face his son Gohan. Yes, Dad! These were the words of Gohan, who was very serious. Let's start with this! Goku would fly towards him at incredible speed and hit Gohan with a punch that Gohan was able to block, but with great difficulty. Ah, my father's speed is incredible! Gohan was somewhat exhausted from stopping his father's punch. Gohan would try to hit Goku with a punch, but it didn't affect him at all. Goku kicked Gohan and sent him flying far away. You're very strong, Dad! Gohan said, returning to where Goku was. You will be too, Gohan. Trust in your strength. Goku looked at Gohan with a big smile. Dad, can I ask you a question? Of course. Goku would reply, somewhat confused. Why did you kiss that girl? Gohan asked, very confused by what had happened earlier. Is there something wrong with it? Goku asked, now much more confused and at the same time innocently. Well, you have a wife, said Gohan to make him realize that what he had done was wrong. Ah, oh, I gave her a kiss to encourage her and also told her that with hard work, she would become very strong and be able to protect her loved ones. Goku replied again innocently. Okay. <sighs> Gohan sighed as he failed to talk sense into his father. Good, we continue. Goku got back into a fighting pose. Yes, father, Gohan said, and then the two exchanged blows and kicks again, having an epic father and son fight. Gohan was increasing the speed of his blows, but Goku had the advantage. You still have a lot to learn, Gohan. If you want to be stronger like Vegeta and Jiren, try harder to be a pure-hearted warrior. Gohan looked at Goku saying those words to him. I will make you proud of me, father. Gohan replied somewhat excited. I have always been proud of you, my son. Goku approached Gohan to give him a hug. Ow! I think that's enough for today. I know it would be interesting to fight Jiren with my new power, but it will have to be another day. Goku thought, looking at Jiren. No, I can't stand to use my new power anymore, and Jiren is the one I want to use my power against. Jiren approached Son Goku. Finally, it's my turn, Goku-sama. 
You better be ready, Jiren, because I'm very excited. At last, we will see again the strongest warrior of the universe is Jiren fight against Goku. This will be the best we can see. What a thrill! Said both Xenosamas. This will be very interesting indeed. Daishin Ken thought. Goku and Jiren shouted at the same time, Okay, let's start!